Hey guys, this video is about how to draw wonderful and intricate mandala art. You will learn super smart techniques to draw some intricate artwork in few hours. Even if you are new to drawing detailed artwork like this, using the techniques explained here, I am sure you will be able to draw various types of mandala art in just few hours. Hope you like this technique and try it. Let's begin. Okay. These are the individual patterns. I'm going to use these to create the intricate artwork, okay? So basically one of them is single and this one is actually four of them together with some little details in it. But if you copy this, okay, it looks continuous, it looks seamless. Okay, and if you look at this, if you just copy this you see here it looks seamless so basically you need to ensure that this edge and this edge are connected so it, that gives you the seamlessness okay and this is again a simple patterns so uh, with this i have created i have arranged this let me zoom in okay so let me just move it here so that's the one on the top so four of them are together okay this one again four of them i have put it together and this one same thing let's say for example if you repeat this it looks continuous so two of them i put it here okay and this one four of them actually okay and in between i have filled it with some lines and dots okay here lines and here dots just to add some flavor Okay, now let me select this. Now let's go ahead and create brushes. So this brush tool, if you will find it in window and brushes. Once you have this, you will click here to create a new brush. Okay, you can create a lot of brush. Now let's create a pattern brush. Say okay and give it a name. Okay, these are the patterns actually. So if you are having a stroke and it will follow that. So basically auto sliced auto centered you know auto between and all that okay so let's select this one as well so now it looks continuous rest of the set settings leave it as it is okay now we have created a brush now let's go ahead and apply this brush let's create a new layer let's switch this off let me put a circle with this center let's say hundred and fifty okay, let me switch up the fill now select this and apply the stroke that's it so this brush has been applied for this stroke okay so you can go ahead and change the stroke so if you change the stroke value it will automatically start to change the sizes of it now if you keep it 2, it looks big. Let's keep it 1. Okay. So let's zoom in. So you see here, that's the pattern. And that is the line and that's another one. Okay. And that's a dot and the square and the lotus on the top. Now let's put something around it. Okay. Let's go ahead to this. Let me switch on this layer let's put something here let's take these four patterns and wrap it around here okay so select the pattern just come here create a new brush pattern brush okay same thing just select auto sliced say okay then come back turn on the layer go ahead and create another circle with the same center okay let's say this time maybe 200 and 200 let's say now select the stroke, apply the brush. Now it is overlapping a little bit because of the sizes. So let's zoom in. So change the scale of the circle. Change the size actually. Let's go ahead and fill in, let's say 210. I think it's okay. Maybe we'll reduce it a little bit. Maybe let's keep it 200. Sorry, we had 200 before, 205. Yes, it looks neat. So it creates that kind of a little white border around it so it adds some sort of you know 
flavor to it now let's put something in this circle okay let's go ahead and this time let's select this individual uh, pattern go ahead create a pattern pattern brush okay same thing out of slice okay now that brush has been done now go back put another circle with the same center actually you can click all while uh, clicking the center so it will start to put the circle from the center now select the stroke give it as now that has applied this okay so we can go ahead and scale it it's up to us maybe we can change the stroke maybe this is too big for this proportion so let's keep it as uh, maybe 1.5 i think let's uh, okay, sorry i didn't select it select it and put one point now let's scale it you press alt while uh, scaling it will scale from the center yeah now it looks proportionately neat you see here now what we can do is we can fill in those gaps so what we can do we can actually repeat the same thing so actually basically it's 18 of them okay copy the same circle place it again in the same place and then now select one of them and rotate it with the center for 10 degrees so basically there was 18 so 18 plus 18 36 so it will, you have to rotate it 10 degrees see it looks very neat so it's kind of creating with with that simple pattern you can play a lot now let's do another thing let's select the same pattern okay this time let's do something else go ahead and create the same brush pattern brush do the same thing out of sliced now this time let's flip across basically mirroring a pattern so this one is inside and that one is outside so if you go and select those patterns see you see here one of them is inside one of them is outside now let's come and draw another circle with the same center let's say 40 select this apply the stroke so now this time it is inside so if you put it outside it will look like this and if you put it inside so now play with the stroke value i think let's keep it at one now let's go ahead and put one of them inside and let's scale it okay press alt and shift so it will center from see it looks neat now select both of them yeah, scale it a little bit okay, change the size a little bit so there are one two three four five six seven eight so we'll copy them put it in the same place select one of them let's rotate it this is eight so let's 22 it's 45 degrees so half of 45 degrees 22.5 degrees see now that has created this okay now select both of them just to scale it so that it is touching this the circle okay neat now select these two and copy it okay paste it in the same place now scale it down okay And let's switch the pattern i think let's delete one of it so there are four of them so basically it is at 90 degrees so copy and paste it in the same place now select that rotate it and let's rotate 45 degrees basically 90 by 2 45 degrees see beautiful with just those basic 
individual patterns we have created this complex artwork it's very intricate now if you want to put a circle or some dots around it just go ahead add a new layer let's zoom in here let's select the circle brush okay scale it down put it here okay now let's rotate it let's repeat uh, 36 of them so 10 degrees with the center here 10 degrees copy and if you put uh, if you press command d it will automatically repeat it will repeat the previous step okay now if you want to add another dots here one big and one small same thing just go ahead and Just put one here and one big. Select them with the center here. I think there are 14 of them. So pick the center here. Okay, so type 360 divided by 14. That's going to give you the angle. Okay. Copy. And command D. That's it. See, it's beautiful. So if you like the dots, you can actually keep on adding the details here, or you can go back and change the basic pattern and uh, do this. So all of this entire intricate artwork, we did it just with this. So yeah, using the techniques explained here, I'm sure you will be able to draw various types of mandala art in few hours. So you just simply have to understand some patterns. Create a basic pattern, okay, and then repeat it. That's all. I hope you like this technique and try it. And if you want to grab this artwork, I will leave a link in the description below. That's it for now. I hope this was helpful. If you like this video, I would appreciate if you give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. That would give me a motivation to do more videos. And if you specifically want to know any trick, kindly do let me know in the comments below. I will try my best to make a video. Thanks for watching.